We're looking at lesson three, that's about echoes. So the first part is a graphing kind of activity. My recommendation is to use uh, Google Docs when you open up this document because you're gonna be inserting images. Maybe you wanna use OneNote, but you probably don't wanna use Cami because you can't insert um, images into Cami very easily. So you wanna graph this information. Uh, my recommendation for graphing is to use Google uh, Excel, Google Sheets. And you're gonna be graphing um, speed of sound versus the density of the material or the density of the medium that the sound is traveling through. Speed of sound is gonna be your y-axis. Density is gonna be your x-axis. Um, and then you'll be able to answer these analysis questions once you make a line graph about it. Um, second recommendation. Uh, when you are looking, you have to look up these densities. You can Google them pretty easily. So like air as a gas, you wanna find that density. Glass pyrex, that's, that's just a type of glass that we use for like beakers and stuff like that. That's in solid form. You know, oxygen gas, you wanna find these densities. The only thing is you wanna make sure all your densities are the same units. I don't care what units you choose for density, but every single number that you get for this, this, this uh, column should be the same. Otherwise, your graph is gonna look crazy if the units don't match. So whatever unit you use for air, I suggest you use the same ones all the way through. And then right in this graph area, once you do make the graph on Google Sheets, the line graph, take a snippet of it, the window key, shift and S, and then paste it right in here. Then you'll be able to answer these questions.